so guys you are welcome to this tutorial on how you are going to make highlights for your work so after putting uh, your layer on soft glue okay and then you use your selection to select the areas you want and then you see how i picked the color in the last tutorial okay and then you begin to to apply heat where there is lightning or brightness okay yeah not like bright, uh, lightning i mean brightness okay where yeah, it's bright so you apply more to heat not in excess okay just apply little 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 ones to heat okay so you just follow this tree and see the many places i touched and um, should in case i don't touch some areas you should do well to touch it while you are doing your home so watch and enjoy So you must understand that you can check uh, the reference picture to know where to apply some of these uh, highlight or shade on your work. Is that okay? So you can decide to check out the the uh, the real picture itself, like you can see me doing. Okay, because we are trying to achieve something similar, not some not the same thing as it is in the picture. We are only trying to achieve something similar okay to what you have on the real picture so you can choose to guide yourself with the real picture itself okay and then let's go to the shadow or you call it shade okay and then you pick a darker area and then you can just talk the color to your own satisfaction okay so let's dive into it so all right just let's follow the flow so i'll put more dark i mean more shadow to the place that has it okay let me see the effect okay i take it good just let me reduce it a little and then i apply it to the darker areas also and um, just watch as you see me doing mine also i'm on my own broken along i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town i'm searching for the lost and found but you don't care, you're unaware 
areas on the picture actually requires that some highlights be sharp or bright you understand like this area you can see me touching okay some areas actually requires that that they will be sharp and then bright I mean even brighter than other areas you understand because of the ray of light yeah so you can just uh, let's see this jaw also put some highlights okay and then you follow it on these expectations, they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Honey, I'm a perfect ten Whoa, whoa Honey, I'm a perfect ten Ingrained in my head, 
the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even to erase this background so i keep on duplicated duplicating the picture because i want it to be thick and you can see what's happening on the background it's showing that i didn't erase the background very well at first when i did it okay so i have to erase it again so those lighter areas on the background is showing to me that um, i didn't erase it well okay so if i should keep on duplicating this picture now it will uh, in the long run form a background for itself you understand so just let it raise it down so that it will not have effect and the background will import on this picture okay As far as mode is concerned, I think we are done with it now. Okay, um, yes, we are done with it. So you can just decide to put on any background you want on this picture. You can try to toggle with the background. Okay, <clears throat> choose any kind of color you want, any kind of color that can satisfy you. It's fine. All right. So, but I don't know the kind of color I want to use now. So I think it will be best for me to just leave it for now. Alright, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Thank you so much. Share this link, let other people get to see these tutorials. Don't just watch it and then you keep it to yourself. Share it on your status, share it on your Facebook. Tell your friends about this channel, let them come to it and then watch. Thank you guys for